Hey butterflies, this is Leek. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I hope you're here to subscribe and stay and join the fam. From the title, you can tell this is going to be my go-to lip combos. I definitely love making these particular like lip combo videos for TikTok and I decided that I should just bring them over to YouTube because as you guys know, I've really fallen in love with lip combos and lip products and like 2020 was the year of me finding out that I really, really love fun lip combos and I was never like a lip liner combo type of person. So today I'm going to be showing you guys my favorite lip combos and that would be a really fun video to just throw out there so that you guys can get an idea. Also, I'm having a really good hair day. So I was like, do I want to do a makeup video or do I do want to do more of a talk through video? So this is going to be like half makeup, half talking. 90% of the products that I'm going to show you guys are drugstore or affordable products that you can get anywhere, you know, Target, CVS, Walgreens, whatever is near you. I want to make this as affordable as possible because I know what it's like to ball on a budget because that is literally my entire life. Before we get into actual lip combos themselves though, I do want to talk about this brand. It's not sponsored or anything like that, but I just think it's like a really cool brand it's new to target i believe they're gonna be in ulta it's the brand minted it's black owned and they have a bunch of like earth tone liners for not only like the more fair skin girls but the medium girls like myself and then more dark skin girls and i feel like these are beautiful they're my favorite lip liners to use right now and i just wanted to address this because i probably will not use all of them in this video but i just want to put y'all on they're at Target. They have a lot of different colors too. They have some pink colors, some more nude colors. These are the ones that I tend to gravitate towards are more brown, cranberry-ish colors. That's like really like the lip liner colors that I prefer to use. But without further ado, let's get into the lip combos. All right, so now that my lips are non-existent, <laughs> this is like how I like to prep my lips. I know a lot of girls like to wear lip balms or lip glosses underneath their lips. I prefer to have Mainly the outer portion, not the inner portion, but the outer portion be covered in foundation because it makes the lip liner have something to grip to instead of slipping and sliding on top of your lip balm or your lip gloss. And I've also noticed that when you put it on top of a lip balm, it's more likely to come off a lot easier because it's just like sticky and it'll rub off. Whereas if it's on something on more of a dry texture like your foundation, it'll really grip to it and it'll last a lot longer. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my number one go-to. I'm not gonna go in a particular order after this, but this is my everyday lip combo if I'm just like not sure what I wanna go for or if I just need something that I know will work every time, basically like my holy grail, it would be this one. And they are both NYX products. I love NYX glosses and NYX soft matte lip creams. They're like up there for me with drugstore lip products. I think NYX is definitely probably my favorite aside from the minted lip liners, but these are the best. So I'm gonna go use, NYX has a couple different formulas of lip liners. They have a suede, they have a gel, and they have a regular pencil. This is their regular lip pencil. This is in the shade Espresso. This is my favorite. It's been sharpened and loved ever since I bought it. I love this one. And then my favorite butter gloss by them is Madeline because it is the perfect neutral tone with a hint of like pink, but it's pretty neutral compared to a more pinky color. So when it comes to lining my lips, I like to overline the bottom. I still have some there. The bottom pout portion because it makes it a lot easier just because you already have a natural shadow there. So I just like to go a little bit over. You'll see what I mean. Please ignore my nails. I have an appointment next Saturday and you will never see me like this ever again in your life. But okay. Huh. Basically, she has like right under my lip, but it just adds that dimension. That's what I'm going for. And I fill in the top pretty much as normal as possible, but I do like to fill in like the outer corners just because you're going to want that ombre effect, or at least I like the ombre effect. So I'll just make sure the outer parts are filled, but it gives me like a little pout without doing too much. And then for gloss, super simple. I do this with every lip product, not just gloss. I only put it on the bottom, so like this, and then I mush for like a minute. And what mushing does, as you can see, is it spreads it around enough, and then I just lightly add, so like I'll put some right here, put some right here, and then that's it. And that's pretty much how it's gonna look. 
and this is my favorite and I it's my favorite because I can make it as dark as I want I would just add more liner I can make it as light as I want by adding more gloss it just works so well with everything and it complements my skin tone perfectly one thing I do want to say is if you ever really want to make a lip color work for you all you really need to do is adjust the liner. Uh, so like if you're lighter than me and you want to make this combo work, I would just go with the lighter brown. But if you mix them well enough together, it can still look very beautiful. I don't think that anyone should be restricted to one type of liner. Like, say if a color is too dark for you, you can add concealer to it. C lip colors are very interchangeable and that's why I like to do lip combos because you can just see how people make other colors work for them. I feel like the glossy lip is really, really in right now in the makeup industry and for me as well. I never used to be a gloss girl. Now I like hardly ever wear lipstick and I used to always wear it. So I definitely recommend this one. This is my top favorite lip combo. Okay, so we're back to bare lip. My next favorite is gonna be a lipstick combo, I guess you could call it. It's one of their soft matte lip creams by NYX. So it's not quite a lipstick, but it's not quite a gloss. It's more like a liquid lipstick. It's more like a liquid lipstick type of formula, but it's very comfortable and very wearable throughout the day. And it does include one of the minted liners. So my absolute favorite in the minted collection is the shade Night. I love this. It's such a beautiful deep brown. I love a deep brown. A brown that is super like true brown too. Not too red, not too orange, just a straight up brown. Espresso is a really good straight up brown. And this is like another one. It's more on the orangey side of a brown, but it's beautiful. And I want you to see these in action because they are retractable. I love a retractable liner. See how it just relies on? I just want you to see that. Like, it takes no effort. So I love these because you don't have to keep sharpening them and making them duller and duller. It goes on the same every single time because of its comfortability, its glidability. It's just amazing. So again, there you go. It's not the same every time. It looks a little different. But this is a brown that's more on the orangey side. If you can tell, it's a little more like a, if you know, like a quirky color, like matte cork. That was my favorite lip liner for the longest, but I realized it was just way too much money for a liner. But this lot reminds me a lot of like matte cork. It's just a very orangey brown. So it's perfect for like fall. But I'm going to pair it with London. London is a beautiful neutral shade and... I love this. I love this. This is my favorite soft matte lip cream by them. So again, apply on the bottom. Mush, mush, mush. And this one might not need any fixing. I'm going to fix a little bit right here. As you can see, very different from the last one. This is more of like a... I'm sure you can tell the difference, but it's like, um, it gives a different look. I think it's less pinky. The gloss actually looks very pink compared to this color. London is like a really true nude. So this is like a perfect nude. It feels so comfortable. Like I could eat and this would last me. I can talk all day and it would last me every job I've ever had. I've had to talk throughout the day and this would last me. I love it. I love the dimension of a dark lip liner with a a neutral type of lip and like I said they're all customizable so you can just add more of the soft matte lip cream if you want it to be lighter and if you want it to be darker you can add the lip liner but I love this one this is the soft matte cream London and the minted liner is in the shade night okay the next one couple that I'm going to show you guys is the one that I made first on TikTok and the first to go viral and I just love it because so many people have bought this because of me because not many people are using these two combos but this one features a NYX slide on glide on it's more of a gel because it's not quite a pencil or kind of sharpness so the lip liner is on the more like berry side this is in the shade urban cafe and i'll show you it when i put it on what i mean it's really like a burgundy wine color i love these type of liners too because pro tip if you have a more reddish liner with a nude you can make it more pink or if you have a more brownish liner with a pink lip you can make it more nude that's how I would make my own nudes back in the day when they didn't have all these you know inclusive lip colors and stuff like that I would just get a brown liner and have to work with all these pink nudes because I hated pink nudes but when you pair them with a brown lip liner they just they neutral out and it looks beautiful but okay this one is that one as you can see it's like on the red wineish like i said like a cranberry type of color side and then i did pair it with like a peachy stockholm reminds me of like a is it a peachy or like a pinky color it's kind of like a pinky color this is stockholm it's also a soft matte lip cream and together they just look so pretty like you wouldn't expect to pair them 
but wait until you see how they look once they're mixed so like look at this you're probably like girl that is pink but i feel like this one is really like i don't know this one is like a fun one because it's not completely nude like that pink does show but like your lips they look a little pouty because you know how like when you have like a popsicle or like a lollipop and it just like makes your lips kind of red i feel like since this had like a little tint of a red to it it makes your lips look poutier but this probably wouldn't go with everything because it's more on like the pinky side so this would go good i think with like evening wear too it's good for like a date night fun color you can still do what you gotta do in it and it would stay on eat your food kiss them good night and it would still look really pretty. I feel like this color also makes my teeth look really white. I don't know, is it just me? I think it's beautiful on its own. I love this one as well. I can see why it went viral because it's really different. I never really see people wear combos quite like this, but it stands out and it looks really pretty and I love it. But as you can see, like I've applied three different lip colors and my lips are still very soft. It doesn't stick. It's not dry. Like no lip, no skin is peeling or anything. It feels perfectly fine. And in between, if you're wondering, all I'm doing is using a makeup wipe and then dabbing my beauty blender with old foundation to clean it up. But no lip balm is being applied in between. So that just goes to show its longevity and that it really does keep your lips nice and supple. And the next one I'm gonna show you is gonna be a fun one. This is gonna be two ColourPop products. I'm still getting into ColourPop lip products. I used to love them a long time ago, like their liquid lipsticks. Like, was in love with them when every influencer was doing collabs with them. They still are, but like ColourPop is definitely grown a lot since then. So I bought only two products and they came out amazing. So I'm gonna show you this combo, two ColourPop, so super affordable. The liner is in BFF3. This was always sold out, so I was surprised I got my hands on it. It's supposedly like a perfect brown. It kind of reminds me of that next one. I'm gonna be pairing it with So Juicy. This is a lip plumping gloss, so it does tingle a little bit, but I got it more so for the color. It's like a pretty good nude. I wanted a nude. It does have like a faint hint of glitter in it. You might see it and then you'll see it on my lips, but I'm gonna show you BFF3 first. This is like a really true brown as well. I love BFF3. This is probably my second favorite after espresso. So this one, very natural color i love the color of this one you see how like i could almost put this all over my lip and it would be so beautiful i'm actually gonna do it i'm gonna do it <laughs> i want to see how this looks all over my lip hold on i actually kind of like it by itself it's a little cricket very very pretty by itself like this is gorgeous i just want to show you too that it's not that dark once you put it all over but this is not how i wear it but i just want to see it so it comes out like very light this one kind of reminds me of the effect you would get if you did a brown liner with a clear gloss because it is clear once you mix it together but this is really shiny like you could do this one with any lip liner probably because it isn't super pink it's more on the sheer clear side but it is very pretty i love this one too i love the tingly effect you guys like those tingly glosses not just because it's plumping because i like how it feels i like the tingling of it kind of i feel like i should have did that one last because see the little specks of glitter on my lips all right, I want to show you guys one last one because I don't want to overwhelm you with all of these. And I want to show you guys the Maven Beauty lipsticks because I got sent these and they actually really surprised me. So I want to show you guys one of those in action. I'm going to use another NYX. This is a matte, a suede matte lip liner, so a different formula. This is in the color Downtown Beauty. It's on the brown side as well. We're going to do this one. This one isn't going to be like a nude combo. It's going to be just a combo to wear because they didn't really they don't really have any nudes or they're nudes but they're not like light nudes they're just like a regular nude this is in the shade buena it's pretty pink but when you put it on you'll just see what i mean these are also very soft here's one it looks like it's kind of all the same color but it does have dimension you could probably use a darker color with it i like my lips to have dimension so if you're like me you could go a little darker but in person it looks really pretty on camera it looks really pretty as well it just looks a little bit more defined on the outside parts in person how i would want it to look like i said what you could do in this situation is you could add a little bit of concealer which i'm gonna do like the tiniest bit be careful because I did a little something. I did a little something. <laughs> Not a big something, a little something. There it is. 
I like this one too. I like more of a deeper contrast as well. And you could always throw a gloss on top of this and it will look very pretty. All right, and those are all the lip combos. I wanted to leave it at five. I could do another part two later on down the road, but I didn't want to overwhelm you with all of my lip products that I have in front of me. I want to share the best of the best in my opinion as of right now so that you guys can go out and test them out yourselves and see if I am really putting you on or not. But if you want to see more lip combo videos and more videos like this, please make sure you thumbs up this video, comment down below and subscribe to get me out there in the algorithm. It would help me so much because you guys know I quit my job and this is all I do all day long is make videos. Not even kidding you. I do TikToks and YouTube videos every single day, all day. And I'm just not trying to slow down until I reach my goals in life. So if you want to help girl out, please help me out as much as you can. But I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. That was a fake kiss. Hold on. Proof. It's on my hand. <laughs>